What's up people? Santa here coming at you with another video. Uh, this time I'd like to take a step back from the very structured guide type of videos that I've been doing and this time focus on sort of like an analysis type of video where I'll have a couple of pre-recorded matches that I'll be commentating through uh, letting you know what um, I'm thinking in the matches, sort of my thought process throughout the match, what I'm aiming for, uh, that kind of stuff. So you'll kind of understand what uh, the thought process is behind a, a bit higher ranked healer, uh, how they kind of like process all the information they're taking in and how they keep their team alive and that sort of stuff. By no means am I saying that I'm some kind of a professional player because really in Final Fantasy we haven't had any sort of professional or pro level tournaments where we could say, well this guy competing over there uh, is a pro player and I can kind of like compete with him. So I will be up there with his skill level. But this is coming from a healer that is hovering around 21-22k rating at the moment in Feast. Uh, so that's kind of like my reference point and what you should be expecting from this clips. I think a lot of the newer players coming to heal and feast would really appreciate this type of a video where they kind of get to see what a higher ranked healer is going through in their head when they're playing, sort of learn something new and maybe incorporate some of the things that I do or we high ranked healers in general uh, do in our games and kind of like incorporate that into their own gameplay. I'm sort of considering making this into a series type of video where each week I would bring you guys a couple of matches that I'll be commentating through, maybe even without commentation, depending on what you guys want. Uh, so really, since this is like a new idea that I'm toying with, I really hope that people would drop a comment below, say what you think, if this is not something you're interested in, or something that would be a good addition that you would be willing to follow and would probably learn something from. And if you want to regularly watch this like weekly, uh, every two weeks or so whatever. So definitely let me know your thoughts below. And with that unnecessary long talk out of the way, let's get into the analysis. All right guys, so we are getting into the first match here. I'm basically starting out in Nocturnal to get Aspected Benefic Shields on people, so that I, when I swap into Diurnal, I'll have more reaction time to get hot some people before the initial clash and the burst uh, from the opposing team happens. So basically, I'm doing just that now. I noticed the bar starts popping up almost instantly after we clash. So I'll just get start getting hot some people to get ready for it. Also, I noticed the Paladin is swapping to me. So I'll know that the bar burst is about to happen. I'll essential dignity the first hit. I'll pop light speed and then the Paladin pretty much instantly stuns me. I'll purify the first stun instantly because I know I can't sit in it for the full duration. The Dragoon is only just about to start his burst. So there's still a lot of damage incoming on the ninja. I'll purify it and I'll get stunned pretty much instantly right after. Doesn't really matter because it's a really short one. I can get a heal in, get Celestial Opposition to lengthen uh, my light speed to get more instant heals. Also get some breathing room from the Dragoon. Pretty much right after this situation solves, the enemy burst window is pretty much over. So the situation stabilizes and the Paladin doesn't have anything really to interrupt my heals anymore, so I don't really need to worry about him sticking to me. Uh, I'm just kind of like trying to keep the team alive, trying to keep the ninja alive. Uh, the team starts chasing them to the bridge, so I have to follow here. Basically, my objective is just trying to support them as much as possible. I can't push too much into the bridge because that allows them to swap to me really easily or CC me really easily and get an easy kill. Um, basically, we just retreated. Going back there now, I don't know really why, because calling time is just about to start and we don't really want to be in their base when that does happen, because if we need to retreat, that's going to be really bad for us. Right now, Ninja needs a lot of healing, uh, so basically I need to sit my ass down and heal him. And that's really bad because I'm pretty much right in front of their bridge. The Paladin comes right up to me, really easy to just walk up to me, stun me, and that's really bad because I don't have my Purifier up just yet. Ninja starts getting heavy damage. I'll get out of the stun right for, so that I get Essential Dignity. Just isn't enough. We do get a kill though, but so do they. I'll get the Ninja up right here because it's about 10 seconds for the boxes to come up. 
so that I'm hoping that we can get an advantage by having all four members up to damage the box. Unfortunately, Linji goes straight back in after getting healed and doesn't notice the box spawning, so the enemy team does end up getting it, so that my plan kind of gets ruined right over there. But it's still okay, it's not the biggest uh, thing in the world. Uh, just trying to keep people alive because people are kind of spread out right now. It's not the best situation for me, for me to be in. Uh, just binding the Paladin right here to get some breathing room for me. Line aside the Bard so that he can't interrupt me too much. Trying to stabilize the Ninja over here. Decided to, because the Summoner is getting high burst right now, I bubble on him. Instantly get the heart, so I got lucky there. Uh, extend the hearts so I don't have to heal him as much and I can get a better position in the back to uh, get back on healing him. But I noticed that the Bard has uh, Raging Strikes and Internal Release up. So I'm thinking that he has all of his buffs up and he's ready to burst. But uh, actually my team is right on it. Uh, Ally Dark Knight gets a corner chill on him, which reduces their damage done. So that's really good and probably stuns them as well to stop their burst. The summoner is pretty safe from all, the, all of that burst. They also full swing him and get some extra pressure on him. So I'm not as concerned about healing him right now. But what I did not notice was that he actually just popped uh, Hawk's Eye and Barrage, which I did not notice. And I thought it's okay, I don't need to focus on, I can let the summoner drop a bit. But what ends up happening is I'll switch behind the wall, get a better position to heal him. I noticed the Imperial Arrow coming up, but I don't think it's going to hit that much. But because it's Barrage Imperial Arrow, he just gets absolutely deleted. So my mistake there, I misjudged the situation. We can still easily come back from this, so I'm not really too worried about it. Dragoon is still pressuring me though, but since his healer is staying back in mid, he doesn't have any support, so he can't stay in. I'm not too worried about healing myself just now because it's just a Paladin on me. We're regrouping here right now and just getting back to me, trying to grab the adrenaline box, but we do fail once again, which is starting to get bad because the enemy team has a lot of potential pressure that they can put on us. Right now, um, I'm not exactly sure what ha happened here right now. Paladin was trying to pressure me, wasn't really able to. I bind him here. He uses Tempered Will, which is a good move on them to keep the pressure on me. Somehow my team just managed to get a kill on the Bard and a timed LB of the healer so they get a double kill. Paladin and Dragoon really need to get back right now. So situation stabilizes once again. Really nothing too special for me to do right now except support my team if they can get a kill here. I'm just getting back here right now. I'm not really exactly sure how that kill happened but good for us I guess because that really lets our team to go on the offensive once again and kind of like make them go in the back foot we have a decent enough lead here so we need to defend that and one good uh, way to defend your lead is a good offensive so when one of them is down kind of like keep them on the edge keep them near their bridge so they're not like breathing on our necks constantly and not chasing us not playing too defensive so my job right now is basically just keep my team alive, keep the hearts going. However, I do know that I need to get back because they don't have too much time to get the lead back. So basically Dragoon immediately when he comes back, he starts pressuring me, starts popping blood for blood internally so that I know they're really going for it. They do swap from me to the summoner, which is really bad because right here, the Paladin weapon throw me. And I know since he's moving to me and they're pressuring the summoner that the paladin is trying to stun me so that they can get an easy kill here. I decide to instantly purify that because I know that I can't really be standing still right now and I need to be moving with my team ASAP. Um, luckily they weren't able to do too much damage on the summoner. Right now Dragoon is back on me. I pop equanimity to get some free casts here. Uh, I don't want to waste light speed right now on something like this as it's only the Dragoon on me. Turns out that was a pretty good move because uh, he was trying to get some decent enough of a damage out on me so that he'll get me about 60% probably and then start LB'ing me. There we go and that was a good call with the equanimity because 
Otherwise, LB would entrap every single one of your casts, but Economy let me just stabilize my health from about 20% back to 60%. Popping Lightspeed here decided to because it seemed like they were still going on strong, but that was a bad call for me. They kind of had to retreat here. They did still, however, stay in our base and started pressuring the summoner which I was not expecting. I do notice that the Bard started casting Imperial Arrow, so I'm kind of like getting ready to heal the summoner up. And I also hear the, the sound effect for using Full Thrust, so I know there might be some heavy damage incoming on the summoner. Luckily, right at that moment, our team manages to get a kill on the Dragoon, so the damage doesn't go through, and he was not in that much of a danger. They need to get back here again, so they're on the back foot. One minute left, so we're pretty safe on the lead here. So I can pretty much end the clip here because there's not much going on in the last minute or so. Uh, we end up getting the win because they don't have too much time to make a comeback. All right, so here's the second clip and this I will not be commentating on as I want you guys to enjoy and absorb the match without me talking over it. So you'll get an idea what that would be like. So I'll see you at the end of the video. Enjoy.
all right that's that i hope you enjoyed it and like i said earlier uh i'm so, sort of considering making this into a series type of video so definitely let me know your thoughts down below what you think if this would be a good addition to the channel if you'd be willing to regularly watch it also with this video i like to make sort of like a mini announcement um i've had this with a couple of people that come to me for help like how to improve uh, can you give me any tips and i've had them record like three or four of their games and i'll go through them analyze them give them sort of like a breakdown on things that they can improve on to help them get better at healing and i guess i'd like to like extend that offer to all of you guys that are watching my videos so if you want to send me a couple of your clips i'll probably drop uh an email down in the description box uh preferably if you could uh upload them to something like Dropbox that would probably be easiest or YouTube and we'll go from there um, depending on your rating though and depending like like what skill level of a healer you are I may or may not want to look at your uh, gameplay so let's say you're a healer in like high platinum something like 19k rating or maybe even in diamond I may not want to look at your gameplay because especially if you're not an astrologian because I probably won't be able to help you and I like to keep my information tips um, my breakdowns as relevant as possible and as helpful as possible and I don't want to spread misinformation just a quick addition that I would like to make post edit is I'm sure most of you guys were aware of the European Fan Fest just held in Frankfurt this past weekend but I don't know if you guys knew about the feast tournament that they also held there uh, I just want to quickly say that Square Enix really thank you because that's a really good uh, step forward for the PvP community and the scene So thanks for organizing that also want to give a quick shout out to the winning team boy band So congrats on winning the whole thing and nice job in the matches You guys really seem to have a solid game plan and you also brought up some very interesting strategies to the table uh, Such as uh, what was it? Oh, yeah a no shield tank But you know who needs a tank or a shield for that matter when you can just hashtag just win You know so we finally got through it all so let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section leave a like if you liked the video or thought it was helpful leave a dislike if you thought it was complete shit subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you guys in the next video